Hello and welcome to the next episode of the Crack a Pack series today with a very special episode. Uh, if you didn't see the last one, you should definitely go check it out, by the way. It was Tempest and it was a great pack. This time we have what generally turns out to be a great pack, which is uh, Modern Masters and the original Moder Modern Masters nonetheless. So a lot of fantastic cards. At the top of the list, we see things like Tarmogoyf as well as Chalice of the Void and Doubling Season, all very fantastic cards. Even down at Common, there's stuff like Street Wraith, which is great, uh, and Lava Spike, both fantastic cards. And then even in Uncommon, there's stuff like Lightning Helix, uh, as well as, I believe, Electrolyze. There's really a lot of value throughout this pack, so hopefully we get our money back with this one. Uh, there's definitely a decent chance that we do. It's very rare, I think, that you see these packs just kind of whiff completely. Uh, so we'll see what we get. Hopefully something interesting. We start off our Commons with a Brute Force. We have an Imperiosaur, a Stinkweed Imp, which is a great card, an Aether Snipe, a Hillcomber Giant, a Petals of Insight, a Walker of the Grove, a Perilous Research, a Saltfield Recluse, there we go, a Street Wraith at Common, and then our first Uncommon is a Thirst for Knowledge, a Riftwing Cloudscape, excuse me, a Tar Pitcher, and our rare, an Angel's Grace. So not the best, but not bad. So Angel's Grace is a card that goes into Ad Nauseum, uh, and it's one white for an instant with split second. So as long as this is on the stack, players can't cast spells or activate abilities that are not mana abilities. So basically it just means that it sort of can't be countered. Once it's on the stack, you have to finish that stack as is. So uh, it states, you can't lose the game this turn, and your opponents can't win the game this turn. Until the end of the turn, damage that would reduce your life total to less than one is reduced to one instead. So basically it keeps you alive, and what that means is with Ad Nauseum, in tandem with Ad Nauseum, uh, you can combo off infinitely, so you can draw your entire deck. So you play Angel's Grace, then you play Ad Nauseum, uh, pay as much life as you want because it's going to reduce you only to one, and then you draw your entire deck and win the game. So a great card definitely for that deck. Definitely not uh, super high value, but not bad either. Uh, and then we always, of course, get a foil in these packs, and this one is Salad Germinator. Uh, very interesting card, actually. Uh, so not as good. The last Modern Masters pack we had, I believe we got a uh, Engineered Explosives, if I'm not mistaken, which was great. So hopefully we'll get a couple more of these packs and we'll be able to see some other good cards. But as you can see, I mean, common, we got Street Wraith, Stinkweed Imp. Aether Snipe, not necessarily amazing, but definitely a fun card. Uh, and then Thirst for Knowledge, which is a great card. Riftwing, Cloudscape, getting Cube, and Tar Pitcher. Uh, so you can see there's just a lot of value throughout these packs. So hopefully we get some more of these. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like or a comment, and make sure to subscribe for all of these. Until the next one, though, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you then.